Today on the channel, we got the world's greatest boss from Super 7 Ultimates, The Simpsons. We got Hank Scorpio. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got Hank Scorpio from the Simpsons line. But for all your Simpsons needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% all in-stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. You can also go to the Super 7 website. Put in code KYLEP at checkout to support the channel. Thanks to everybody that does do that out there. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on this channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. Without further ado, let's check it out. we got the old slipcase cover with the classic Simpsons logo. Got the clouds going on. The Simpsons font looking good. And Hank Scorpio looking like he's ready for business. Like a young blowtorch from G.I. Joe with that flame flower looking very, very nice. I'm here for that. And of course, slipcover comes right off easily there. Give the old heave ho. See you later. Goodbye. And there's old Hank Scorpio in the plastic prison. Probably my second favorite Scorpio. I do prefer his brother, Too Cold Scorpio. One of the great wrestlers back in the day. Uh, Too Cold Scorpio, Hank Scorpio. Brothers from another mother, as some may say as well. Big plastic prison. Uh, window on the front looking very good. If you come into Albert Brooks, maybe he could sign this for you. Who knows? And of course, Hank Scorpio, one of the most famous one-and-done characters. I think he had a couple other things, but pretty much a one-and-done character in the Simpsons universe. Very, very memorable episode, a fun episode back in the day. If you've never seen that episode, it's definitely worth a watch. Hank Scorpio down there. Nothing fun on the sides. Then on the back, a little glamour shot there. Looking good in that purple sweater. I'm here for that all day long. And then on the back, it does say, You Only Move Twice, Season 8, Episode 2, Original Air Date, November 3rd, 1996. Oh, what a day. What a day that was, I'm sure. Uh, we're going to pull him out, see what's going on, dare I say. See what all the fuss is about. Got that Simpsons artwork back there. Bam! See you later, like young Larry Bird at the three-point line. And we got old Hank Scorpio doing Hank Scorpio things. Multiple heads, flames, hands, you name it, it's all in here. But I'm going to take it offline, get him out of the package, and we'll be back talking all things Hank Scorpio. All right, we got Hank Scorpio out of the package here. We're going to start with the accessories as we usually do. And I guess we'll start with some hands. Two fists of Scorpio Fury right out of the package here. Looking good with the fists there, but we're not done. We got two gripping hands going on. We got a deep grip and a little tighter grip. Choose your own grip adventure. And then we got a classic one. World's best boss. Oh, how about that one? Hey, Scorpio would be a great boss to have. A very cool guy, but he's got a dark side, I guess. But he was always good to Homer. Always good to Homer. World's best boss. Looking very nice. It is sculpted into the hand here. I'm here for that. And then the final hand here is another one of those pointing hands. Give the, hey, brother, or, you know, point to somebody or whatever you need to do. Pick your nose, whatever you need to do with this one. But you got the one finger hand right there. So those are the hands. Then we get a little grenade canister, or a little, uh, I don't know, maybe it could be a grenade. It could be an air canister. It could be any kind of thing. Smoke, who knows? But it is all in gray here, looking good. So we do got that. Then we do get his flamethrower here, and we got all kinds of attachments here. So we do got a hole on each end. They got a hose that is removable here, so you just slide that hose in like so. This will connect into the backpack. We'll talk about that in a second. And then we do get a nice flame effect put in the front as well. Kind of that classic scene at the end of the episode where he's doing the flamethrower and Homer's, I guess, quitting the job and stuff. It's been a while since I've seen the episode, but definitely do remember it. But looking very cool, looking very much on brand here for one Mr. Scorpio looking nice. But now we're going to dive into the figure, we're going to dive into the heads on this one. And right out of the package, kind of plain Jane, stoic head, I guess is what we call this one here. Of course the classic Simpsons yellow skin throughout. Bright orange hair, like a young Conan O'Brien right here is what he kind of has that hair color too. Got a beard over the top as well, looking good. You got the whites in the eyes, the black. 
looking very nice, looking just like an average Joe, really, at the end of the day. But we get a couple extra heads. The second one, he's looking crazy. This is full-on flamethrower going crazy. Got the teeth showing, got the tongue out, got the black behind the tongue, crazy eyes. Just a wild version of Hank Scorpio. So truly yin and yang between these two, no doubt. And then we got the angry one. You don't want the boss mad. He's even getting some Todd McFarlane side eye from the couch. He's got a little side eye action going on there. Big gritting teeth. He's mad. He's angry. He's got a turtleneck. There you go. But of course, he does have a turtleneck, like I did say. And I guess diving into the articulation real quick on this one, arms do go all the way around for us. Single jointed elbow somewhere here. Somewhere here. Very little movement out of this elbow, though. Pretty much non-existent. Oh, there it is. Very tight on the elbow for mine. Your mileage may vary. You do get the side to side there. Hands back and forth, side to side. Hands removable. Head back, forth, side to side, up and down. Plenty of movement there. Removable as well. Hula hoop at the top. Traditional waist. Big old Hank Scorpio splits like his brother too cold. Legs go up. Bend at the knee very tight once again. Side to side at the knee. Ankles up and down. Back and forth. Side to side as well. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% of ringside collectibles. Make sure you get a Mattel stand. But he does fit perfectly right on there. Looking very good. Now diving into the figure a little bit. Talked about the turtleneck, but he's got a nice kind of a seafoam green shirt going on. A nice sweater over the top looking very interesting. Uh, looking very good. And then he's got some blue jeans, I guess. Blue jeans on down here and some brown shoes. So pretty plain Jane. A pretty plain Jane figure. Uh, he might be plain on the outside, but he's very intriguing on the inside as we know. And then, of course, we do got the jet pack. Jet pack, flamethrower pack. How about, I guess you can pretend it's a jet pack if you wanted to. But he does have that going on looking very cool here. And there it is. As I say, there's got to be a hole somewhere on the side that you can plug this into. Uh, maybe. Here we go. I can plug in. Whoops. As I take this whole thing apart, really, at the end of the day here. There we go. Plug it right in. Eh, I'll do it. But, you know, it plugs right in here on the side. We'll have it for the glamour shots. Looking very good. Got the two blue canisters gray around there. You could, I think, remove this. Yes, you can. So you can remove the flamethrower attachment if you want to. Really is choose your own adventure. I will remove it for the glamour shots, of course. I'm kind of torn. Do I display him full raging with the flamethrower or do I display him kind of normal with world's best boss? I don't know. It's tough to decide with some of these figures from sometimes. Sometimes, I've talked about it before on the channel, sometimes they give us too many accessories, too many heads. It's almost impossible to choose. Then I end up buying multiples of figures to display different looks, which seems great, but not good for my pocketbook. You guys know how that goes as well. But man, I do like this figure. However, the elephant in the room with this one here, would I rather have Hank Scorpio or a traditional Bart Simpson? I think most of us, a traditional Bart Simpson. So that's kind of the pain point with this line as we would love to have this down the road maybe once we know this line is continuing or right now even if we knew the line was continuing to line number 10 or series 10 or whatever. However, knowing that series 4 is going to be the end of the show, end of the road of this one, I feel like I would have rather had a Hank Scorpio not even happen at all, give us more core characters. It is what it is. There's no, uh, you can't go back in time. I don't think, at least. Maybe you can. If you do know how, let me know. Uh, but I don't think you can go back in time and fix this. So it is really unfortunate. Definitely a cursed line in a lot of ways. And it is what it is at this point. I'm having a lot of fun. I really like these figures. I think as far as Super 7 goes, this is some of the best figures they've come out with in the last couple of years. Just a very, very fun line and a line that could be extremely deep. Just not going to be in the plans now, and I know a lot of people are jumping out of this line, and I, I get it, honestly. I'm sticking to it through the end. You know how I do, but it is disappointing. There's no doubt about it. I even got to agree to that one there. But Hank Scorpio, a fun one for what it is. A very fun one-and-done episode from back in the day. Just a very cool figure. Now if we just get his brother too cold Scorpio some figures, hopefully Mattel, somebody gets those done for us eventually. We'll see what happens there. But Hank Scorpio, looking good here today. But what are your thoughts about old Hank Scorpio? A pickup, a pass, a long game, a no game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like this very video. Always helps the channel when you give it a old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel or either YouTube channels. Make sure you subscribe to both of those. Check out Patreon for early access to all the videos on the channel. And of course, your best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel at PressingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget Amazon, the WWE Complete Guide to the Jacks Classic Superstars by yours truly, the book I wrote. Almost 700 pages. Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Truly a passion project. And if you want autographed copies, reach out to me. We can get that worked out as well. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Hank Scorpio and bosses everywhere, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.